Next up is, we've mentioned this a couple times, um, the untitled Dave Filoni movie. And I hope this one, out of all these, doesn't get canceled. Because, again, mm. give this guy his flowers. Give him his opportunity to show what he can do with a big budget. Because yeah. he's been carrying this goddamn franchise on his back for, for more than a decade. It feels like a layup. I don't see why they would cancel something I, like I that. I don't think they're going to cancel. I think this is official. Yeah. Because they've announced the slate, like, twice. I think now they're just like, okay, three movies. We're mm. going to do what we always do. Three movies we're going to commit to, and then we'll go from there. Mm. But these are three different eras. So, anyway. Uh, this he is described as the culmination of his Disney Plus shows, like mm-hmm. all his, even his animated shows. Like, well, I think it's more specifically his Disney Plus shows that he's been working on. Yeah, and he said that this will close out most most of the Disney Plus shows. So maybe Mando will continue. You know how it is. Like, yeah, they didn't say it. Like I mentioned to you, with like two of those shows, Andor and Bad Batch, those are the final seasons. Mm-hmm. This next Mandalorian season, they didn't say it's the final. So I think they're going to keep milking that until mm-hmm. they can't. But anyway, this is going to be the culmination of Dave Filoni's work. And I think if he nails this, maybe he'll get a spearhead the next trilogy. That'd be, that, that'd be how awesome. How cool would that be? Or say, yeah. hey, you're a fan. You know the, all the lore. You've been creative. You've carried us on your back. How about you spearhead it? Like, not yeah. even direct. Maybe if he wants to. But maybe you spearhead. You, you're our Kevin Feige now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's just me wishful thinking. But um, what do you think about that? I want him to be the Kevin Feige. <laughs> <Star Wars. laughs> Everybody does. And he kind of is for the shows yeah. already. So might as well give him the movies. I mean, you know, the MCU captures that magic of like, here's this, here's this, here's this. Boom, big one. So if they can do that with Star Wars, with shows, that, I mean, I would love that. I think that would be awesome. I um, I want to know what this movie would because it's going to be awesome to see if we get Mando, Grogu, Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, and now the Rebel cast. Like if if this yeah. results that they find Ezra and if Thrawn's like some kind of a big threat, which I think he is. I, that's what I'm saying. Them alluding to this whole section of space that doesn't exist. And right. that's the thing too. Like how did the First Order, like they're like hiding, right? So I, I don't know how much of these pieces are going to come together, but even just seeing his cast of characters in, on the screen is going to be really, really cool. Well, I think this, now that we're finally here, because mm-hmm. we t- keep talking about, well, you're saying, why did they make those? And we're talking about how is Filoni going to fix this, whatever. They should kill Mando in the movie. They probably will. I want some stakes. I want some deaths. <laughs> I got two things for you. <laughs> two things. But first, um, I think this is going to tie into Snoke. Mm. General Snoke and like how and Sidious and like how like he came back. Yeah, yeah. Because like they've mentioned like stuff like about like cloning again, like with the scientist character in season mm. one. Like it, it seems like Mandalorian was always teasing. Oh, this is how we're gonna explain mm. Sidious. And they stuff. keep trying to get that Grogu blood, man. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Is like they're trying to do something with Snoke and Sidious, and they're gonna try to explain more to justify that. It's the it's the prequels all over again. They're trying to justify why these movies are important and why you should yeah. watch them. You're telling me they didn't they just take liters of Anakin's blood? <laughs> you know how he had that Darth I Vader like? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that would be a better explanation. I mean, right? he's, he's the most force sensitive person ever, right? If you want some strong ass, the highest midichlorians. Yeah, yeah, the highest midichlorians. If you want some, <laughs> that's the one thing I'm glad it went away. Why do they need a <laughs> measurement? They're just trying to be Dragon Ball so bad. <laughs> His metachlorians are off the roof. <laughs> They're over 9,000. Um, second thing. Mm-hmm. Two words. Cal Kestis. If you're going to bring him for <laughs> anything, bring him in this weird Avengers style, like Dave Filoni universe. Mm-hmm. Now, how old is he in in the, the games i'm not sure let's just, just I'll, guess i say 26 i'll then say 25 so we're in the same we're in the same boat <laughs> yeah 20 let's just go with yours 26 yeah and then the that'd be so awesome if they tied them in they have to yeah <laughs> they have the actor that looks like him. that's true <laughs> like he legit is that character so how many years is it if you know you're about to get your badge taken away or you're gonna get it put back on how many years is it from like the beginning, like the original trilogy, how long does it take? It oh, can't from start to finish from episode four to episode six. I have no idea. But if you had to guess, like, cause Luke, we see him, <sighs> what, like three years, maybe four mm. less. Cause it happens quick. Well, you're saying between four and six, four and six, eh? the original trilogy start to end. Damn. I honestly have no idea. I mean, if I were to guess, if you were to guess, yeah. Three to five years. Let's just say five. Yeah. 
So if he's 25, add five years, 30, well, he could play a third. Or I think the um, I think Mantle takes place five years after the events of mm-hmm. uh, episode six, the second Death Star. So let's give another five, 35. Put mm-hmm. some makeup on this guy. <laughs> you can make him 35, or I don't know when, when I think Mando takes place five. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Point is, we have the actor. Yeah. He needs to pop up in live action eventually. Put him in Dave Filoni's Avengers team <laughs> for whatever this threat is with Mando, yeah. Grogu, Ahsoka. Mm-hmm. This what's the team's name? Phoenix or something? Yeah, Phoenix Squad. Phoenix Team Squad. Phoenix something. Else. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any hopes for what this movie would be or? I think it's good to just not have expectations. Uh, that's but, where you're at with Star Wars. Well, <laughs> I'm, it's just that uh, I think. I think we're going to learn a lot after Ahsoka because I want to find out, like, are we going to get Ezra back? What does that mean? Or, you know, what is what do all these things mean? My assumption is that they are going to get him back, but who knows what his live action version is going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be talking to space whales. What if he's <laughs> a bad guy? Now? Dude, that would be a badass twist. I mean, you're stuck with Thrawn in some random fucking place. I don't even know if like, what we, if they're lovers? <laughs> that, dude, that's, go. <laughs> that's a twist. <laughs> you're like, you want something you've never heard? <laughs> <laughs> you want originality? 